G'day, my name is Raf Hymas. I'm Marketing Product Manager for Massey Ferguson High Horsepower and Specialty Tractors in Australia and New Zealand. And today, we are here to introduce to you the Massey Ferguson 7S. The new Massey Ferguson 7S fits into the range between the 6S and the 8S. And here in Australia and New Zealand, it actually replaces two outgoing ranges, the 7600 and the short wheelbase 7700. Ranges from 145 horsepower right through to 220 horsepower with engine power management. For the Australian and New Zealand market, we have tier two compliance, which means the simplicity of no ad blue. But it's tier two with no compromise. We have both hydraulic lash adjustment and EPM, which has traditionally not been available in a tier two power plant. Hydraulic lash adjustment means much reduced maintenance costs due to the, the hydraulic lifters adjusting automatically hydraulically. Engine power management gives that additional boost horsepower whenever you've got hydraulic function or PTO or in road transport. So basically it's there, it's seamless, it's automatic and it's just, it gives you that boost horsepower whenever you need it. Another advantage of the tier two power plant is the fact that we actually have larger fuel capacity, 335 litres for the Australian and New Zealand market versus 305 elsewhere in the world with um, stage five emissions. So even though we've got the bonnet open um, to show you the engine, all of the critical daily uh, maintenance checks can be done with the bonnet closed. For instance, down on the lower side of the engine block, the engine oil dipstick there, um, and also up here you can, you can sight the, uh, the engine coolant reservoir through the side panel. With the bonnet open, we have easy access to the cooling package. We also have easy access to the air filtration system mounted up the front. So uh, this unit is fitted, as you can see, with front axle suspension. It's a Massey Ferguson design. It runs two dual acting rams, one on either side three accumulators, two on the compression stroke and one on the rebound. It gives 140 millimetres of travel and it's completely maintenance free. You've also got the option of uh, turning it off, like locking, locking the, fun the suspension function out. But then also once the tractor reaches 30 kilometres an hour, it automatically re-engages to give you that control and comfort. While this unit itself doesn't um, have front linkage fitted, it is an option from the factory. So fully uh, factory integrated front linkage, 3.2 tonne capacity, and you can spec it with either a single pair or two pairs of hydraulic remotes. Of course, if the machine is fitted with a loader as this one is, you only have the option of a single set of hydraulic remotes for the front uh, linkage. Also, um, front PDO is available as well. For the Australian and New Zealand market, we are specking all machines with the short straight bar axle for um, flexibility. You've got a full complement of, um, of weights available for ballasting. The rear axle in these we're already familiar with in the, from the previous versions, uh, but they, they give a, a gross vehicle weight rating of up to 14 tonne depending on the transmission that you, that you choose, whether it's the Dyna six or the Dyna VT. And then coming around to the, to the rear, we've got um, on, the, on the, Dyna, the Dyna six transmission, we have a rear linkage lift capacity of 8,100 kilos. With the Dyna VT, that actually gets bumped up to 9,600 kilos, which is essentially the same lift capacity of the outgoing ranges. The rear end of the tractor will, will seem very familiar. We've got a wide variety of hitches and drawbars to suit pretty much any application, including the option of a K80 ball hitch. This machine's kitted out with the full complement of four hydraulic remotes. Uh, as this is an efficient version, you have two electro hydraulic remotes on the joystick and another pair on the mechanical levers, as we're already used to with the outgoing ranges. You'll notice all of the rear remotes are equipped with decompression levers. Uh, just so you can relieve the, the hydraulic pressure when you're connecting and disconnecting hoses. 
hydraulic flow is 110 litres per minute, but with the Dyna Six, you've got the option of going to 150 litres per minute. And again, with the Dyna VT, you can opt for 190 litres per minute of hydraulic flow. So a wide variety of wheels and tyres are available. Uh, you can set up the 7S with, with rear jewels. Uh, you can go to a maximum diameter of 1.95 metres and using a 42 inch rim there's a wide variety of tyres to suit any application from row crop jewels to wider flotation tyres. So you'll notice with the styling of the 7S, although it's obscured by the loader, you can see that sabre styling on the bonnet which is a flow on from the 8S. Also when you look at the frame of the cabin itself, you'll see the grey frame which follows along with the family look of the 8S and you'll see that through the rest of the ranges, the 6S, the 5S. Why don't we jump in the cab and take a closer look. So we're now inside the cab of the 7S and while it looks quite familiar to the previous versions, there are some, some changes. So, a lot of them are cosmetic, new steering wheel, new dashboard layout. But the most important thing is really the new armrest. And it is the same armrest as we are accustomed to now in the, in the 8S. The other key advantage um, to the new S series ranges all the way through is there's that commonality now. So we've got the Datatronic 5, um, which does all of your, your guidance, your tractor functions, um, your ISOBUS, all of those features, but then you've, you also have the option of adding the second Fieldstar 5 screen if you want to have a dedicated uh, steer, guidance screen for your, for your steering and your ISOBUS. Um, familiar layout, you've got all of your tractor functions, your forward and reverse shuttle here, your cruise control settings, your um, engine speed memory, you have your linkage control. You can assign these to um, F1 and F2 to any number of different functions. Uh, single push of the auto steer engages your, your guidance. So really, all of your tractor controls can essentially be done off of this, um, this multifunction joystick, including your loader control on the, on the little thumb joystick up here. Um, but if, if you're more sort of traditionally minded, you uh, can run your loader control off of the multifunction joystick over here. Um, you can shift up and down, you can shuttle forward and reverse, and then you can preset uh, a couple of different hydraulic functions on there as well. And then coming back here, we have uh, diff lock, on off, auto diff lock, auto four wheel drive or your four wheel drive engagement, your linkage position control here on the dial, uh, auto PDO, and then all of your telephone and uh, audio functions here as well, and your PDO engagement. The new steering wheel follows the 8S design with the chrome, chrome spokes. Coming back through the cab, you've got the two um, mechanical remotes. Again, this is an efficient cab, so we've got uh, two hydraulic functions on the, on the multifunction joystick, and you can assign them through the screen. And then you've also got the uh, third and fourth remote on mechanical levers. As we saw in the 8S and we're going to see in the other S-series ranges as well, brake to neutral uh, switch here on the A-pillar as well as your um, suspension lockout, uh, ISOBUS, and this is your speed steer function. Everything's right there on the A-pillar, easy to get to and very convenient straight through. So I hope you've enjoyed today's presentation of the new Massey Ferguson 7S. Uh, we feel that it's a really good combination of uh, straightforward, dependable simplicity with the tier two emissions, um, but also with those advanced features like um, engine power management, the hydraulic lash adjustment, full auto guide uh, ready. You've got the full suite of Massey Ferguson technologies, including MF Connect, Ideally suited to your general dairy functions, but really it's a, a solid all-rounder. Anywhere you would need a high-capacity six-cylinder tractor, but without the excess weight of a large frame like our 8S, the 7S is really the perfect solution. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation. Thanks very much for watching.